Hello friends, this video is about methods of seed production in cabbage. Cabbage requires two seasons to produce seeds. In the first season, the heads are produced and in the following season, seed production follows. Two methods are in situ method and one more is transplanting method. In in situ method for certified seed production means in situ method is for certified seed production here seed to seed method is followed that means it takes around two years in transplanting methods this is for nucleus seed production that is head to seed method in in situ method the crop is allowed to overwinter and produce seeds in their original position where they are first planted in transplanting method the matured plants are uprooted and the outer walls are removed. Then the plants are replanted in a well prepared new field. In cabbage, during seed production, three methods have been followed to facilitate flowering and seed production. When the crop in the first season is fully matured the heads are examined for true to type the plants with off type heads are removed then the heads are cut just below the base by means of sharp knife keeping the stem with outer whorl of leaves intact the bee headed portion of the plant is called as stump this is either left in situ or replanted in the second season after overwintering or uh, dormancy breaking, the buds sprouts from the axis of all the leaves and leaf scars. Advantages of this method, it gives extra income by way of sale of heads. Crop matures 12 to 15 days earlier. Seed yield is slightly high, but the disadvantage is flower stalks are decumbed and requires very heavy stacking. Coming to stump with central core intact method. When the crop is fully matured in first season, the off type plants are removed and rejected. Then the heads are chopped on all the sides with downward perpendicular cuts in such a way that the central core is not damaged. When the head starts bursting after overwintering, two vertical cross cuts are given to the head taking care that the central growing point is not injured. In the absence of such cuts, the heads burst out irregularly and sometimes the growing tip is broken. Advantages of this method, shoots arising from main stem are not decumbed. Hence, very heavy stacking is not required. Seed yield is also high in stump method with central core intact. Disadvantage is the chopped heads cannot be marketed. The third method is head intact method. Here when the crop is fully mature in first season, the heads are examined for true to type. The plants with off type heads are removed from the field and rejected. The head is kept intact and only a cross cut is given to facilitate the emergence of stock. Advantages are it saves time and labor very heavy stacking is not required but the disadvantage is seed yield is slightly low as compared to other methods there are three main stages of seed production one is breeder seed for breeder seed the mother is nuclear seed from there we'll find the foundation and then certified seed there are two other classes of seeds like uh, registered seed and truthfully labeled seeds registered seed is not in the indian seed chain and uh, truthfully labeled seed it's a seed which is not undergone the seed release program or we can say the seed chain it has not undergone and truthfully seeds are just labeled and sold coming to the varieties or hybrids in cabbage the early varieties are Golden Acre, Pusa Mukta, Chabatia Early and the mid one are Pride of India, Pusa Drumhead, Aru Glory, Green Express. Late maturing kinds are Large, Late Drumhead, September, 
green challenger bss 50 bss 32 bss 44 bss 115 and shri ganesh gold in red cabbage red acker is a famous variety coming to the seasons of cabbage growing early varieties like golden acker are planted in second fortnight of july that is uh, 10th or 25th up to 25th july medium varieties in the second fortnight of june that may be from 1st to 15th june sowing then late varieties first fortnight of june that is 15th to 30th june the land requirement for this particular crop in hills select the fields on which the same kind of crops or any other coal crop was not grown in the previous two years unless the crop within the previous two years was filled inspected by the certification agency and found not to contain seed borne diseases infection beyond the maximum permissible limit isolation requirement the seed field must be separated from field of other varieties at least by 1600 meters for foundation and 1000 meter for certified class of seed production the seed rate for early varieties is 600 grams per hectare and for late varieties is 400 grams per hectare seed treatment some seed born pathogens like uh, black rot black leg and uh, alternaria leaf spot start invading the seedlings blight from germination of seed pre drying of seeds at uh, uh, 40 degrees celsius for 24 hours followed by the air treatment for 75 degrees celsius for 5 to 7 days in an effective method to disinfect cabbage seeds infected by black rot without any seed damage hot water treatment to seeds at 50 degrees celsius for 30 minutes is done to prevent seed borne pathogen immediately after the treatment the seeds should be used for sowing within 24 hours after hot water treatment seed can be treated with a fungicide like captain before sowing to protect the seedlings from damping off and downy mildew respectively the nursery ra raising seeds may be uh, sown on raised nursery bed at uh, 15 to 20 centimeter height in rows with 10 centimeter spacing 25 nursery beds at 2 meter into 1 meter size are enough for 1 hectare thin sowing should be done to avoid damping off kind of disease that means uh, we can say the, to avoid the soil borne diseases coming to transplanting three to four week old seedlings that may be 25 to 30 days old seedlings are transplanted preferably in the evening with a spacing of 16 to 60 centimeter in late varieties 16 to 40 centimeter for medium and 45 to 45 centimeter for early varieties transplanting at second fortnight of august for early varieties and first week of august for both medium and late varieties are advisable coming to main field manuring field should be prepared to fine tilth by deep plowing three to four harrowing followed by leveling cabbage crop requires very heavy manuring at the time of land preparation a 50 to 60 tons of fim per hectare should be applied 200 to 300 kg super phosphate and 90 kg of potash should be applied before transplanting of the seedlings two doses of 75 to 100 kg ammonium sulfate at uh, intervals of two to three weeks after transplanting should be applied another dose of 200 to 250 kg of ammonium sulfate as surface application at the time of seed stock emergence coming to stacking after the flower stalks are sufficiently developed stacking is necessary to keep the plants in an upright position foliar spray 50 ppm of uh, naa that is auxin sprayed twice after two and four weeks of transplanting the cabbage seedlings in the field has beneficial effect on better growth and yield of cabbage varieties the favorable temperature range for flowering and 
seed setting is 12.5 to 18.5 degree celsius coming to roguing the roguing is mainly done in order to maintain the genetic purity the first roguing is done at the time of handling the mature heads all of type plants diseased or undesirable types are removed at this stage the second roguing is done before the heads start bursting the loose leaves poorly headed plants and uh, those having a loose stem and heavy frame most by roguing out at this stage the subsequent roguing for off types diseased plants affected by phyllodie black leg black rot soft rot or leaf spot should be done from time to time as required one of the major pest of um, cabbage is diamond back moth growing mustard as intercrop as 20 is to 1 ratio to attack diamond back moth means this acts as a trap crop to avoid the dispersal of the larvae periodic spraying of mustard crop with insecticide is necessary here installation of pheromone traps at uh, 12 in number per hectare spraying of uh, cartap hydrochloride at the rate of 1 gram per liter or uh, as a biological control bacillus thuringiensis at the rate of 2 grams per liter at the uh, primordial stage that is economic threshold level of 2 larvae per plant or we may go for spraying of nske 5% after primordial stage or release of parasite diaderma semiclasum at the rate of 50000 per hectare at 60 days after planting is also effective coming to different diseases the first and foremost disease is club root seed treatment at 10 grams per kg of seeds or soil application of 2.5 kg per hectare or seedling dip in solution of 5 grams per liter with pseudomonas fluorescence dipping the seedlings in carbendazim solution that is 1 to 2 grams per liter and uh, the dipping period is 2 minutes drench the soil around the seedlings in the main field with carbendazim at the rate of 1 gram per liter of water fellow crop rotation with the cruciper should be avoided for 3 years in the fellow cropping the next disease is leaf spot to control this spraying mango zebra at 2 grams per liter or carbendazim at 1 gram per liter for leaf blight spray mango zebra at the rate of 2.5 grams per liter for ring spot spraying mango zeb 2 grams per liter or carbendazim 1 gram per liter or copper oxychloride 2.5 grams per liter to control downy mildew spray combination of metalaxyl plus mango zeb 2 grams per liter uh, 3 sprays at 10 days interval is sufficient to control this disease black rot for this Dipping the seeds in 100 ppm cyclone for 30 minutes, 2 sprays with 2 grams per liter copper oxychloride plus streptomycin 100 ppm after planting and head formation. Coming to harvesting and processing, this may be done in two lots. Generally, harvesting in the early matured plants first when the pods turn into brown color after harvesting it is piled up for curing after four to five days it is turned upside down and allowed for further curing for four to five days then the pods are threshed with pliable sticks and shifted with hand shifters or we say as sifters then the seeds are dried to seven percent moisture content cleaned and treated with bavistin at the rate of two grams per kg of seed designated diseases in uh, cabbage are black leg black rot soft rot the seed yield which may can be obtained is mm, for uh, different varieties it is 500 to 650 kg per hectare coming to seed standards pure seed for foundation and certified it is 98% inert matter is 2% 
other crop seeds for foundation seed 5 per kg and for certified 10 per kg total weight seeds 5 per kg in foundation and 10 per kg in certified germination is 70 percent for uh, cabbage moisture is 7 percent for uh, a vp container it is 5 percent the other standards like off type is 1 for foundation stage uh, seed and uh, certified it is 0.5 deceased plant is 0 0.10 for foundation and 0 0.50 for certified attend after flowering and maturity stage the recommended uh, numbers are for uh, at flowering and at maturity stage thank you i hope uh, you like this video and uh, do not forget to subscribe my channel thanks once again